Hey guys, even here, so Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. Honestly guys, this guest posing, probably more exciting, probably more interesting than most of the pro shows this year, really. Because these six guys right here in this lineup are potentially like top six in the Mr. Olympia, like top six guys in the world, at least top ten. So you had Samson, Big Ramy, Sean Clarida, Nick Walker, Derek Lansford and Hunter Labrada. And as you can see, let's start with Samson. So this is what I know. Samson has been off, completely off, up until 10 days ago. And as you can see, he looks soft. He looks big, sure, but definitely soft. He does not look super impressive. He definitely doesn't look as big as he would look if he was blasting it right now. Unlike, for example, Nick Walker and Derek Lansford. So Nick Walker, he competed at the Arnold. So he was depleted for a long time. He didn't have enough time to really progress. Derek did. Derek didn't compete at the Arnold and he had all that time for a health phase and then afterwards he started pushing it. As you can see, he looks the best here, if you ask me. Now, Big Ramy looks smaller than you would expect, but you saw that photo yesterday. I told you he looks smaller than usual. He probably went completely off and, I don't know, he was probably not eating too much. He probably wasn't training super hard, which is something he doesn't need to do. When he starts prepping for a show, that's when he needs to push things, only then. I never saw Big Ramy's legs look this small in the side poses. Weird. But hey, he missed this guest posing last year, even though he said he was gonna do it. It's Jim Mannion's show, so he had to show up, no matter what he looks like. And he doesn't look that bad, I mean, he looks good. But usually on stage, when he competes against these guys, he pretty much dwarfs, them. not dwarfs them all, but he, he is bigger than all of them, really. Maybe only Nick Walker can stand next to him, and let's say Samson, because he's taller. Uh, however, the other guys, like Derek Lansford, like, uh, I don't know, Sean Clarida, uh, like Hunter Labrada, shouldn't look this good standing next to Big Ramy. So definitely a downsized version of Big Ramy. I would say Samson also looks bigger and fuller, even though I know for a fact that he was off completely up until 10 days ago. So his cycle has just started. You can say that this is basically a natural physique for Samson, and uh, he looks great. He looks great considering all that. So he has been off for like how long? Two months? However, Derek is the one, he's the guy that looks the best here. And expectedly so. He didn't compete. He had all that time to take it easy and then to start pushing. And apparently it's paying off. And it's gonna pay off until the Mr. Olympia even more. So we'll see how much he's gonna progress. Hunter, however, he is competing in, I believe, like six weeks or so, six to eight weeks, I'm not sure exactly. I know he's doing Texas Pro, and I think maybe Tampa, remind me guys, I forgot, but basically he's like the guy, the only guy here that is pushing the conditioning right now. And so I would say, I mean, I would honestly say Derek looks more conditioned than him. So Derek is really holding on to that conditioning, even though he's making crazy progress. He is unarguably, right now, currently, the guy with the best back in the world, for sure. And like, he's really massive, like, he's, he's a mass monster right now. He's a shorter guy, so he's not that big, you know, but like, frame-wise, but for his frame, he's packing a ton of muscle. And Nick, Nick also looks really big. And I kind of expected this because, you know, yeah, he competed at the Arnold, but it really looked like, if you watch his social media, that he really took it seriously, his off-season. So he didn't really have, like, a health phase, you know, a phase where he takes it easy. He never really does have those anymore. Look at Derek in the front double. And, and Samson, too. Not Nick. His waist looks too big in the off-season. He can't do anything about that in the off-season. When he preps for a show, when he diets down, he can bring it down, but in the off-season, it's really visible, it's really apparent. Again, Hunter Labrada, he's prepping for a show and his conditioning is decent, but still it's not better than full-blown off-season Derek Lansford's conditioning. Yeah, Hunter started his prep recently, and I don't know why Derek is staying this lean in the off-season. I hope it's gonna work out for him, but then again, he is the runner-up at the Olympia, Hunter is 7th. And once again, as far as Samson, let's check out his individual posing routine. As far as Samson, who is the current star, like he won the Arnold Classic, uh, I was, I was, I mean, I wasn't really expecting much from him because I knew that he went totally off. He really tried to work on his health, so you can see it. You can see that he's really soft, 
surprisingly soft for Samson Dauda. So I'm sure when the Mr. Olympia comes, he's going to get much harder, much, much bigger as well. From what I heard, he was like 310, 3, 315, something like that, which is not heavy for Samson. For Samson, 350 is like a good off season. And I believe that's the plan because there is still time until Mr. Olympia and they already started the cycle. So they're probably going to get Samson as big as possible and then cut him down and get him shredded. Nick, usually in the off season, he gets his waistline blown out like this. It's nothing new. It's nothing crazy. Yeah, his waist is huge, but when he gets conditioned, he brings it down. That is an issue of him with his physique. But he can ma he can manage it. He can control it very well, and he's controlling it really good. This guy's posing, but when he is like down with the weight, when he is ready for the show, I believe he's in the two eighties right now. But when he is down to like two sixty, I actually two fifty five, something like that, his waist really goes down. Like he loses a lot of that size in the waistline. So do not worry, his waist is gonna be just fine when he competes at the Olympia. Now, once again, as far as Big Ramy, definitely a downsized version of him. I'm pretty sure he didn't train at all or something like that. I believe, yeah, I believe he maintained this kind of physique, this, this much muscle without training at all and probably not following a strict diet. I mean, I have no idea what he's doing, but he's definitely, look at the side leg. I never saw Big Ramy's legs look this small. And this is concerning, honestly. Like, if he really didn't do anything, you know, training-wise, eating-wise, uh, gear-wise then fine, then that's, I guess, that explains a lot, but how is he gonna bring up those those lats, even though he did the stem cells, like, if he doesn't train, I don't know, man, like, I'm, I'm very pessimistic about Big Ram's future. I said it before, and I'll say it again, I think he's done. Derek Lansford is probably my favorite to win the Mr. Olympia this year, I think it's him versus Samson, I don't think it's gonna be Hardy again, but you guys can tell me what do you think. Based on what I'm seeing right here, I mean, knowing the situation, the background, I can't really compare these two guys. They are completely different. Samson is tall with a great silhouette, with great weed taper, and uh, Derek is a mass monster, but much shorter. Uh, however, he also has beautiful lines and beautiful weed taper, small waist. So in that way, they are similar. They are both very aesthetic, but, you know, structure-wise, height-wise, completely different. Derek, again, the best physique on this stage, the best conditioning, and probably the biggest physique pound for pound. So yeah, he really amazed me, and that's kind of what I expected from Derek. Like, what else could you expect from this guy? This guy is a, is a workhorse, and he's really driven. You can watch his YouTube channel. Like, he is, he is like the talk in the moment. Like, and people are expecting him to really do well. I think he's gonna beat Hadi. I don't know if he's gonna beat Samson. If Samson makes progress and Derek makes progress, uh, you guys tell me. You guys tell me who's gonna win between these two guys, but I'm pretty sure they're both beating Hari Japan this year at Mr. Olympia. Once again, Big Remy disappointed. Who knows how many times in a row now, but hey, at least he showed up and this is not a show, it's just a guest posing, so who cares, really? Hopefully he's working on his health and hopefully he's also working on fixing the muscle damage, the nerve damage, whatever is happening with his, I mean, his quads, his lats, his uh, triceps, his uh, biceps also, his calves, his forearms. I hope he's taking care of that. And as far as Hunter, I hope he's going to compete and do well and win and qualify for the Olympia. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and go to the link down below, click on the website of the Old School Labs, choose whichever product you like and just make sure to use the code EVAN if you wanna support me and my channel. It would really help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.